Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing today? Uh, it's about lunchtime here and I'm hungry and I figured that I would make a big salad and I thought we'd talk about dressing um, because that's something that friends and clients have talked to me about that they really, you know, that's something that they'd love to make at home but it just seems daunting. Well, guess what? Big secret, it's really easy. Really, really easy. So today we're gonna make a simple dressing and I'm going to show you how all the components work. And then, you know, since you got nothing to do, you're sitting at home, maybe you can play this week with some dressings or something like that. So essentially, any kind of salad dressing fall, uh, comes down to five basic components, right? It needs an acid, which could be citrus, like oranges, lemons, limes that roll away from you, <laughs> or a vinegar. Um, or it could, and then it also needs a fat, which would be an oil, or if you're looking for something a little bit more on the creamy side, you'd go for a mayonnaise or like a tahini, which is basically um, sesame seed butter, kind of like peanut butter, but sesame seeds. Um, and then the next component that you need is salt. That's gonna bring out all the other flavors that are coming on in the dressing. A little bit of sweet because that's gonna break up the tanginess of the acid. And then from there, the fifth ingredient is what I call fun, but that's also aromatic. So that could be anything from garlic or shallots. Uh, you could do fresh or dried herbs. You could put chili peppers in there, curry powder. Um, you can basically just go to town and make it any flavor you want. So, to, so that's how you do it. And then vinaigrette, if you're just doing a basic vinaigrette, it's you've just got two components uh, to start. It has an acid and then a, a fat and then a little bit of salt is usually used too. So you could literally, if you wanted to do this super, super simple dressing, which is also very delicious, do a little bit of lemon, a little bit of olive oil and a tiny sprinkle of salt and put that over your salad and you will be in salad heaven. I highly recommend trying that one. But today we're gonna make a balsamic vinaigrette because you probably have all the components for this sitting in your fridge and your pantry. So we have balsamic vinegar, and use some olive oil. And if you don't have balsamic, you could use red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Just go look in the pantry and see what, what you have. I'm sure it will work. We're also going to add some Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard is a beautiful emulsifier. Basically, these two friends don't mix well or stay mixed together. That's why you'll see dressing bottles separate all the time, right? The mustard acts to bring those two together and help them stay balanced, right? And even though, you know, it's, it's homemade, it doesn't have a lot of the preservatives and funky stuff that's in the bottle dressing that helps them last longer and stay a little bit emulsified. So it will separate just a little bit, but you can fix that by giving it a good shake, which we'll do in a second. <laughs> Now the classic ratio for these guys is usually, for a vinaigrette anyway, is three parts fat or oil to one part acid. That's a little bit on the oily side for me personally, but this is all about trying and tasting. Um, I usually do about one and a half to two on the oil side to one, to one part vinegar. Um, and to start with, we will do our vinegar. So I will use about a quarter cup. Oh, and it's gonna come out nice and slow. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a third of a cup. We'll do a third of a cup. I'm trying to think of how much space I have in my little jar here. We'll start with a third of a cup of the vinegar. And then I'm gonna add garlic. So I have one clove of garlic here. I'm gonna give it a light pop with the knife so that I can get that shell off of it. And then I love to use this little sucker. This is a microplane. Um, you could finely mince it, you could use a garlic press, but I really like the microplane because I can put it over whatever I'm doing, like this. And then I just kind of grate it back and forth. Oops, there's still paper on there. I haven't been thorough in my peeling of my garlic. Did I get it all? No. Come on, little sucker. Okay, so. Grate this over here. If you do not like this intense raw garlic situation like this, but you want a hint of it, you can also give the garlic clove a big pop and then let the whole big fat clove just sit in here for a minute. It'll give, and then remove it. You can give you like the essence of the garlic, but um, 
it won't be as intense as this. Now, I like it super intense, so I'm sticking with the whole clove. And as you can see, it's kind of made like a pasty mushy on here, so it's really, really finely um, grated, which means that it's gonna go and disperse throughout every little droplet of the dressing, which is what we want, right? So we'll do that into the thing. Hello, friends who are watching. How's it going? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Next, we're gonna put a little bit of Dijon. I'd say about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I'm gonna eyeball it about like that. Probably good. Next, we wanna do a little sweet, cause again, that's gonna balance out the acid. Now this is balsamic vinaigrette, which is a little bit on the sweeter side. So I'm just gonna add maybe like a teaspoon of this agave. Um, you could also do honey. You could do orange juice or tangerine juice is great because it's just a natural. It's your acid and your sweetener at the same time. So I highly recommend that if you have oranges. And a pinch of salt. Just a tiny bit. A little bit of pepper. And I got some garlic skin in there with my pepper. So we're gonna fish that sucker out really quick. Yay, this is live cooking, you mess up. <laughs> there we go. Um, now, I'm doing a salad that has fruits on it, and so I like to add herbs as my aromatics, especially with the balsamic vinaigrette. So right now, because it's more likely it's in your pantry, I have some dried oregano, which is a nice blend with both fruit and balsamic vinegar. You could do thyme, you could do rosemary, fresh is great, or dried is great. They all work fantastically well. This is about quarter teaspoon. I'm going to do two of those, so half a teaspoon. And now we have all our fun components. We're going to put them in this nifty jar. This was a, uh, a jar of jam that we got from the grocery store and I threw it in the, I soaked the label off, threw it in the dishwasher. I love this because this makes about a week's worth of dressing. So I'll put this in here and when you're, when we get to go back to the office, um, the great thing about this is you can bring this on a Monday, stick it in the office fridge, and then you don't have to remember to bring salad dressing every week. And the other benefit is because it looks a little bit more like a science experiment in there, it's less likely anyone's gonna steal your dressing than that bottle of ranch. I don't know if that's an issue for you, but uh, I know sometimes coworkers can snag dressing here and there. Okay, so we have all the acid, the flavors, the salt, the sweet, what we're missing is the fat, and here it is. And I noticed I did everybody else first. Now we're gonna do the oil at the end, because this is the one where we're not sure exactly what the tasting ratio will be that's perfect. So we start with a third of a cup of the acid. I'm gonna go about one and a half, so I'm gonna do about a half a cup of oil. There we go. Pour it in. Hello, my friends watching. How's it going today? All right, we have oil. As you can see right there, it's separated. And this is the funnest part of all. This is how we put it all together, ready? We shake it, we shake it. You can do a full body shake because I find that makes the dressing emulsify all the better. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so you can see it has blended together. It is one homogenous mixture. Now we have to taste it. That's the most important part of this. Okay, I need more sweet. The sweet and the balsamic didn't do it enough justice. And more salt. One more pinch. And then we'll do it again. Yay! Mm -hmm. mm hmm I think that's there. Okay, so dressing's ready. Now I've got my salad. I prepared this one to go. We have some fruit in the fridge and it's spring, so why not? Mixed uh, power greens, some iceberg lettuce. I steamed up some asparagus. There's some cucumber in there, a little tofu for protein. Blackberries, strawberries, and a little bit of mango and some walnuts because they add crunch and they're good for brain function and cardiovascular health. And of course, avocado, because I love me some avocado. So, got my balsamic and we'll do a eh, little drizzle drizzle. Again, 
I'm not a big fan of measuring, um, but you don't need to in this kind of a recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is dressed. I don't have a fork, so I'm just gonna dive in with my fingers. Try it with some tofu. Mm, so good. I would love to hear any dressing vinaigrette recipes that you make this week because I like to be inspired by you. I hope that you have been inspired by me and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and would love it if you would give me a like on here and a follow on at Aspire Zen on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.